did a good job. Oh, we did a good job. Oh, we did a good job. My man is my man is your man. Heard is her man too. My man is my man is your man. Heard that's her man. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I just keep him satisfied. Hello, beautiful people. So today I am a Powerpuff Girl. Okay, if I were a Powerpuff Girl, I'd probably be. I personally think I'm more of a blossom girl myself. Anyways, so I'm in a bit of a grocery limbo. I don't know if you guys experience this, whether it's the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, the end of the week, but you're kind of like at a point where you need groceries, but you're just like, <sighs> and have you ever been in like such a rut where it's kind of hard for you to get out of the house because you want to like have something nourishing, you want to have something healthy, but you're in that limbo and you don't want to necessarily grocery shop like hungry without your essential vitamins and nutrients so honestly for me that's where my teeny greens come in i've talked to you about the teeny blends superfood greens multiple times before actually um remember when i made that delicious lemonade I added it to a green smoothie and today we're gonna add it to my green juice so I still have some green juice on hand who this is a life saver because this is something that I can just drink like honestly right before I go to the grocery store or while I'm driving to the grocery store just put it right in my little cup and drink it so that I'm not shopping on an empty stomach and I know that I'm getting my essential vitamins and my nutrients. Teeny Greens Superfood Blend contains matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass as their top three ingredients. It actually has a total of 16 superfood ingredients. It's plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy, and soy-free. So it's a nutritious blend of plant-based superfoods and it's perfect for getting your daily dose of powerful greens in your life. So it definitely has that green smell to it. If I had my way, I would mix this with lemonade. But like I said, I'm mixing this with my green juice for today because that's what I have on hand. And honestly, this green juice doesn't pack as much of a punch as I would want it to, which is why adding my teeny superfood greens to it is going to just make it so much better. Because yeah, the two main components in my green juice are spirulina and chlorella, but... My teeny superfood like greens has so much more, it has 16 superfoods. So I just take a scoop right on out of here. I like to level it out on the sides. Here's my scooby scoop, so you can see. And then here's my green juice. You can't see because the cup is insulated, but maybe you can see inside just a little bit. Pour my superfood greens right on in there. And my cup actually has like a lid on it that I can just cover. So I can give the cup a nice shake to spread it out super evenly. So my green juice along with my teeny superfood greens in here. I'm telling you, it does have a green taste. If that puts you off, mix it with lemonade. Trust me, it'll be the best thing we've ever had. Um, or any type of juice, really. But make sure, if you are interested, you click the link down in my description box. You can use my code to get some money off. And thank you to Teamy for partnering with me. So I just got my hair done by TJ. I'm with Dominique and Dizzy Devin. Hey guys. Before we get in here and it's copywritten, we're going to Crab Station. <laughs> no, we're going to get Korean barbecue, but we're going to Crab Station first. And then this 
this is corn and cheese, and then this is onion. And then they'll bring other sides, like kimchi, fish cake. No, not here. Not here. Kimchi, pickled cucumbers, some other stuff. And then they'll bring the meat and rice and soup. Time to shake my ass on the yacht. And a thong in Dubai. Doesn't the soup we get have pork? Oh, yeah, the made. I mean, but she can taste it. Okay. She can taste it. <laughs> it's not like a lot of pork pork meat. Pork meat. Y'all, me and Devin have been eating 
Korean barbecue together since what, 2015? 2014? 14. Since 2014. Cause I put her on. She put me on. She put me on. And out of all the places that we've been, this is the best thing. grocery store we need to get groceries for the apartment so um got my mask but also because it's freezing in the grocery store and I'm an outfit repeater I already wore this set this is a Fabletic set um, I wore it in my last vlog um so let's just go ahead and put this sweatshirt on this sweatshirt or hoodie is from pretty little thing but the set is from Fabletics. And then I have on just like some white tennis shoes from um, Adidas. Um, I have my list on my phone. So let me take my phone off of my car mount. My list is on here. I'm listening to Morbid, but I don't have um, my headset or my AirPods. I lost one of my AirPods, y'all. So I have to get a new set of wireless headphones from Amazon on the Prime Day sale. Well, one of my AirPods is in this car, but it fell when I was at Target the other week, and it fell in a place that I can't find it. Anyways, let me put this mask on. I think I'm just gonna be one of those people um, for like grocery trips. So, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna be one of those people that sticks to wearing masks for grocery trips and to the airport. Um, I just think that's going to be the safest bet for me. Because the mask mandate was lifted out here in Texas and if you're fully vaccinated, I'm fully vaccinated, but yeah, for the grocery store and um, the airport, I really wanna keep my mask on, like dedicated grocery trips where I'm gonna be getting a lot of things. Yeah, 
do you have to organize your shopping cart as you shop or are you normal like i literally hold on let me get to a, a stopping point i have the like packaged greens and like mushrooms up here i have the bags like romaine lettuce like listen to kale my bell peppers my onions my baby broccoli and then all my fruit is gonna go up here but this back here is the vegetable section oh it's not a focus sorry and then this up here is the fruit section so we're gonna put all the fruit like right here okay also i'm gonna try my luck with watermelon picking um i feel like it is kind of sort of watermelon season and they have these personal watermelons here i did see a graphic i think it was on twitter and it was like pick one with like a sunspot like this uh, I want to pick a sweet watermelon. I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm not a huge fan of watermelon, but I still want to like try to see if I can pick a good one. So I was looking at this one or this one. I'm going to go with this one, y'all. Comment down below and let me know if you think this is going to be a sweet watermelon. I'll cut into it later when I get home, but just let me know comment down below pause the video and go comment right now <laughs> okay y'all so let me show you the cart so far we've got strawberries blackberries all the fruit and then some more fruit i mean sorry all the vegetables y'all y'all need to start correcting me <laughs> sorry, all the vegetables and then we have all the fruit up here i got some organic cotton candy oranges i mean grapes well i'm trying to talk really fast because Usually people looking at me while I'm vlogging doesn't throw me off, but for some reason today it's throwing me off. Sorry. Cotton candy grapes. I've never tried cotton candy grapes before. I know what it is. Because the mask mandate was lifted, people are really are just not wearing masks. And so people are staring at me a lot more than usual because I still have a mask on and I have this vlog camera. So they're just like, what is this girl doing? But either way, this is how the car is set up so far. And then there's like a tropical fruit area right in front of us, but it's usually like jam packed. So I have my bag ready because I get my um, I get my kiwis from over there. I don't know why I'm constantly out of focus. Okay, I get my kiwis from over there, and then I get my dragon fruit from over there. So I need to get some space because my cart is a little big today. I usually get the smaller cart, but every time I get the smaller cart, I get this amount of groceries and it my groceries never fit in my cart and then they're just like make trying to make it fit and it just never fits comfortably and so we got the bigger cart today so i need to get some make sure there's room over there for me to really see if what i'm looking for is over there but while i wait i do need some bananas so let me grab some bananas um let's see these look really good i'm gonna start using these bananas immediately and then i'm gonna get some um greener bananas like these yeah these are a little these are green enough for my liking i think there's some uh, i'm either looking at these or these let's go with these these are good okay and we're gonna just move our cart so that we can get to the tropical fruit station okay also I'm getting salmon for date night tonight I'm cooking I also need to get some Sauvignon Blanc from the wine section yes please thank you so so much have a great day okay i'm gonna come down here a little bit further oh y'all look they have crab cakes Ooh. okay so y'all i know i got fresh um salmon cut specifically for tonight but i just wanted to pop over here and show you that you can actually get like already prepared not already prepared but there's some like already prepared shrimp mm -hmm. jumbo lump crab meat over here there's shrimp over here so i think i'm gonna get some shrimp and then i'm gonna get some chicken and that's gonna be it for me right now 
Okay, y'all, I have a smoothie secret to share. I use guava nectar um, in smoothies that are not green smoothies. So I get a lot of this because it is so good. It makes my smoothies so sweet. I also get mango nectar, peach nectar. I don't really get pear nectar, but they have an apricot or apricot nectar by this brand as well, but they don't have it right now. Um, but yeah, I like to mix like nectars with my smoothies so it can make up my fruit smoothie so it can make them really sweet um i don't think i need like any almond milk or oat milk or anything like that and i don't think i need any coconut water so i think we can kind of like scale past these aisles okay babes this is what the cart is looking like um i have all my proteins and stuff up here and then I got some wine. I'm so excited. Underneath here, I just have some like fruit, vegetables, skincare stuff. I got some creme brulee. I'm gonna chop up my strawberries and like my berries and put that on top as dessert for dinner tonight. I got some corn. I love corn, so just got that. And then I have my fruits, my juices. So yeah, y'all, this is literally everything. Oh, I got some aloe vera juice. I add this to my water if I'm ever feeling like dehydrated. I've been feeling kind of dehydrated lately. And then I got an aloe vera plant so that I can make some like fresh aloe vera gel. So, yeah, this is it. Hello, beautiful people. I'm back home. I unpacked all the groceries and then uh, changed clothes. Got a little bit more comfortable, you know, you know. Um, we're about to cook. So, I think we're also gonna open this bottle. So, y'all, I got this wine opener from Amazon. It's just the electric wine opener. I had another one that um, broke last year and it's rechargeable. The one last year that I had was rechargeable as well, but. Before I pour it, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like. So this is decoy Pinot Noir tilt to pour. Okay, so we're gonna tilt to pour. Like not a lot, right? Not a lot. This is too much. This is probably too much. More? Oh, okay. More. That's good. This is good. And then. I believe I saw this on TikTok, but I haven't seen that TikTok since I saw the TikTok the first time, so I don't know if this is right. You like, wait, you swirl it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and then you stick your nose in the glass, deep breath, and then you explain the notes that you smell. Cherries and plums. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. This is not bad. This is not bad. So this is my plate, it looks a mess. And this is my honey's plate. But yeah, I don't know y'all. I don't know about this one. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll see.